Hey, coming at you again with Outdoor Devotion. Got a food plot here. I'm going to try to save it. Uh, it's a whitetail imperial clover. I established it in 2015. So this would be the fourth year on it, which is, you know, it's normal for clover. That's that's good. It's just it's getting grassy on me. I'm back here in some bottoms, and it's been wet this spring. And the problem I have is I can't get my tractor back here to keep it top through the summer to really keep it clean. So I've got quite a bit of grass. And as you can see, though, I've still got quite a bit of clover along with the grass. I'm gonna to try to save it. So what, I, what I've got here is an Arrest Max from Whitetail Imperials. It's a herbicide grass killer. And I'm gonna to try to get this stuff sprayed and see if I can't kill this grass out. I'll let this clover bleed through so I don't have to reestablish this plot. I really don't want to tear this plot out right now. It's May. I really don't want to tear this plot out and then reestablish it, you know, here in June and July and then August, September, because once I take this food source away from the deer, other than just natural stuff, they don't have nothing. When you try to do food plots, it's always a good key to try to do it in thirds. That way, by the time you establish your first third, your second third, and your third third, and by the time it's back to redo it, you're redoing your first third, while your second and third and third third are still established. So your deer have food the entire time through the year. I hate coming in and, and just having to tear it all out and start over, which I've had to in the past. That's just how things happen. But once you do that, you take things away. And also here, you know, we're in a few weeks from, from does fawning. I want them home does to fawn here. I want them fawns to stay here. I don't want them to venture to a neighboring property, you know, drop their fawns there and the fawns grow up there and want to be around there more. So by establishing this food plot and keeping this clean, I'm giving food throughout the year. You know, clover's a good, a good food source all year round. Um, what I got here is actually kind of like designed as a staging area. It's a bottom. You know, we've got some neighboring tree program over here. It's got some good bedding area. And the top of the ridges here is actually established farm ground. We are row crop farming it. But right now we got seven acres of corn planted. And within a few weeks, we'll have another six acres of soybeans planted that we are harvesting for farm. By the same aspect, I've got a staging area. I've got a bedding area. Top of the hill, i got agriculture fields. So what this plots work real well is that the deer can come out here and feed in the daylight hours. They're in the bottoms. They can't be bothered. And as the evening progresses, they can maneuver up to the top ridges to the agriculture fields. So basically I've made a staging point for the deer to stop feed, trying to draw them out of the bedding area earlier. It's worked out really well, but this white tail imperial has worked out great for me. I mean, I know it looks really weedy right now, but like I said, this is four years on it. I'm very happy with it, very impressed. I'm just gonna try to get it cleaned up here and just all I'm spraying with, I got, you know, my side-by-side -side or the three-point hitch sprayer on it. Uh, three-point hitch because I can't get my tractor back here so I had to do a little rig in here and, and get her tied on the old side-by-side -side. but I'm going to hit this real quick I got her all mixed up correctly we'll uh, we'll spray this and we'll come back here in maybe a week or two and we'll see how she looks